What's happening everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Going to take a look at one tonight from out of Cincinnati where I am actually located. This is going to come from Rivertown Brewery and Barrel House. This is a look at their Ville de Rivere Goose. And try to get a little bit of an angle there. I think I'm getting a little bit of a glare off the computer. But this is a one pint, 9.4 ounce bottle of their sour goose. Uh, comes in at 6.2% ABV according to Untapped. First thing I'm going to say about this one is Rivertown, you're slipping a little bit. You do not have the ABV on the bottle, and you should have that on there somewhere. So that's one thing I will make a note of. But untapped, someone have put that information in there, so hopefully that's correct. This one is an actual sour goose, as I mentioned, that is actually aged in oak wine barrels, which um, I've had a few beers done that way, which I have really enjoyed. And then it's also aged in a bottle for up to six months to really let the flavors settle in. So this should be a pretty interesting one. Sounds pretty decent. I always like a nice sour type beer from time to time. So let's get this baby cracked open and get it into a glass and see what it has to offer. Rivertown is one of our good amount of breweries here in Cincinnati and I keep telling y'all, if y'all come to Cincinnati, you will be pleased with the beer scene as more and more beers are being added seemingly, it seems like every month, but we have a good amount of breweries here now doing some good stuff. Definitely worth checking out. But take a look at that beer, oh my gosh. I can smell that sour coming off of it already, not even trying. Oh, that smells so good. It's like pretty much like sweet tart candies coming out of the glass. Has a nice look on it. It's got that kind of, I guess you could say maybe like a, a golden orange type color. It's got some haze in there. Can't really see through when I get it to a light. Even then, I'm not seeing all the way through. Head, very thin. Not much on it to speak about, and it's actually kind of fading out, but that does have to happen with some of these sour beers. As I mentioned, that sweet tart smell, you get a nice big dose of uh, tartness coming right out of the glass. Not even trying to sniff, and it's just climbing right out of that glass at a nice rate. Kind of has a little bit of a musty cider type smell taking place here. Wow, it smells fantastic for what you would expect to have on the sours. Now, I did mention it's bottle condition, but I'm not seeing, well, I do see a few little bits of particles in there as well, but nothing too big or nothing off-putting about what it looks like in that regard. So everything is looking pretty decent on this one so far. And I do get some of that sense of the wine, which seems to be a white wine they used in this case. Very vinous in that regard. Uh, but let's go ahead and get a taste of it. Oh, that's different. Wow. Woo! That's got some tartness for sure. Almost like sugar. I'm getting a big puckering effect, so definitely the astringency is in play. Not really too overly bitter. Untapped made mention of an 8 IBU, but it's got a great puckering sensation. You feel a little bit of that in the back of the throat when you swallow. Like a, almost like a a ball of a little bit of tartness there scraping the back of the throat as it goes down it's got the as you can hear from the lip smacking action taking place it really does cause you to kind of lock up your lips that way not much dryness at all that I'm feeling on this one either I'm not getting as much of a dry uh, break on the back end on the finish the biggest thing is really that over pucker and sensation and it leaves a good duration of that flavor too. This one is probably a little more heavily tarted than some people may like. For me, it's really pushing that level. It's not a bad taste of beer at all. It's got a little bit of thinness in the texture, but that tartness definitely pushes my limits. If you're not in a huge sour type fan, this may be one that you may want to skip in that regard. If you do like sours, I say give it a shot, I guess, depending on what your tartness level may be. If you like them very, very tart, then this is one that can definitely fit in that category as well. It's different. I'm glad I tried it. You gotta have a high tart level to really enjoy this one. But you know, that's the fun thing of trying all these different beers. You're learning different styles and you're tasting some different things. But if you're not a fan of tart, yeah, this isn't gonna be one that you're gonna wanna check out. But like I said, if you do like it, give it a shot. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. 
But all in all, it does what it's supposed to do is give me that hard sour taste. It's making you pucker up pretty much. It actually does leave some lacing behind, which is also nice there. And um, it's something different. So the good thing with all these different beers that we have out there, we're all getting kind of different things and they're all doing different stuff. So hopefully that continues. I'm gonna go ahead and finish knocking this one out. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I definitely look forward to catching you on the next one again. This is the Ville de River Goose. If you happen to see it from Rivertown or if you've had it before, let me know. Put some comments in the comment section. With that all being said, thanks for swinging by. Check out another video. I look forward to catching you next time. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.